Hello and welcome to another edition of Thoughtful Leaders. Today we have with us the principal of Saptagiri College of Engineering, Bangalore, Dr. Ramakrishna. It's a pleasure to have you on board, sir. Thank you so much for doing this. Namaskara, sir. Welcome, welcome, sir. Namaskara, namaskara, guru. So uh, we have a lot of questions for you, sir. So without further delay, shall we move on to the questionnaire? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you have held key positions at education institutes throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? Yes, sir. Being a teacher is a noble profession, sir, which I am interested. And educating students gives me happiness. And uh, it has it has got a a huge library like information literacy, applicable application of talents. Then uh, equal access to education, then exchange of experience between teachers, and e-learning productivity. With this, uh, uh, teaching is a noble profession. Finally, thank you, sir. That's true. That's so true. So moving on to the next question, uh, being the principal of Saptagiri College of Engineering, what is your philosophy of leadership, and how how would you describe your leadership style? Yes, sir. The that's the uh, first thing is uh, the teamwork. Okay, and uh, provide good models for faculty members to follow, and uh, provide for our uh, participation uh, participation in process of developing institutional goals, encouraging faculty members to work together the institutional goals, and. Uh, Regularly encouraging faculty members to evaluate our progress towards achieving the institution goals, and uh, uh, finally not settling for second best in the performance of our work and the institutional faculties. Great, sir. Great. Uh, good to hear. Very inspiring set of answers. Moving on to the next question. Being the principal of Saptagiri College of Engineering, how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your institute? Okay. Yes, sir. Our teaching methodology uh, is the one which will go into uh, which is the better, best. Like we teach beyond curriculum, beyond syllabus. With extracurricular activities, and are the, they are the key uh, success of marketing and administration. And students are our ambassadors. Uh, for instance, uh, 2018-19, we were stood eighth position in Vishweshwaraya Technological University in um, cultural and uh, sports uh, the highest points, and we got a uh, we got an award of one lakh rupees from the vice chancellor of university. and this this clearly says that uh, at all we are affiliated to vishweshwara technological university and the curriculum we need to follow the university curriculum and beyond that we have achieved uh, this is how uh, uh, we could able to market our institution and our administration yes sir well that's great that's good to hear uh, the uh, again moving on to the next question the education systems in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently right so okay. in your experience what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your institute yes sir uh, the indian higher education system has been significantly transformed in recent years and uh, positioning the nation as an influential global player and uh, india has surpassed the us holding the title of the world's second largest higher education system after china and to prepare for the future indian government is implementing a range of reforms uh, to transform the higher education sector across the nation whether examining the rapidly expanding indian higher education sector or the significance of its international students it's clear that india is a key, key player and uh, we need to adopt or now the newer educational policy as implemented by the government of india and uh, we are we we promise that we will going to implement it uh, in all of our educational system and we see that our educational system are the better and the best 
Well, that's great. I, I strongly agree with all the points. So moving on to the next question, how does the curriculum of Saptagiri College of Engineering ensure the best practices of the industry? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, first of all, we got MOUs, Memorandum of um, Understanding with Industry, uh, with uh, regular interactions with the industry and our institute. Uh, we, uh, we, we involve all the stakeholders, first of all, and uh, we float internship, project work, exhibitions, competitions, paper presentation, paper publications, and patenting. Few of the students have patented their project work. Uh, that's how we are regularly in touch with the industry and the day-to-day, -day, what the technological changes happening, we are inculcating with the students with the beyond syllabus. Yes, sir. Well, that's great. Outcome-based learning and skill-based learning is indeed the need of the hour. So moving on to the next yes, question. Uh, any insights into how your institute could be more welcoming to students of different races or economic backgrounds? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, thing is, first, uh, the promote a positive class classroom climate because we need to provide a, a positive classroom climate and embrace student diversity and increase our own cultural competence, encourage student interactions, and foster a community of learning within our classes. This is few uh, words I would like to I would like to substantiate your answer, sir. Well, that's great. That's great. Uh, so moving on to the uh, next question, what do you think uh, should be the institute's top priority over the next ten years? Yes, a very good question, sir. Uh, we are thinking. Uh, be to have a full-time high quality faculties point number one and uh, we want to have a better research and funded projects patents publications uh, and we need to give incentives and rewards and accountability to the top institutions in India and abroad that's great that's great so Moving on to the next question, any insights into how your institute could be more welcoming to students of different races or economic backgrounds? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this, uh, we focus on research focus, uh, teaching quality uh, uh, education and graduate outcome and satisfactions facilities and student service, atmosphere, location. Our location is very good. Institutional ratings. So this uh, we could be able to accommodate. That's wonderful, sir. That's wonderful. So indeed, the, uh, 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 the environment is indeed very good and warm. The lush greens in your campus. I visited the campus a couple of days back and it was, it was oh, really nice, good. Nice. Yes. Uh, so moving on to the next question. Uh, what would you like people to know about your institute they may not know? Uh, about our institutions. We are located in a prime uh, location and with a lush green campus. And it is, a, it is a green campus. And with all facilities, like, uh, see, uh, in the, during COVID time, we could able to sanitize the entire institutions the students uh, once they come the parents if they send the students that means the students are not coming but online education is going on online uh, classes is going on but few of the students they would like to visit few visit and see uh, the laboratories and get some doubts and so for them we are completely sanitized our institution so that the students are uh, safe to uh, come, educate themselves, and move. And uh, we are providing all facilities of sports and culture and uh, whatever uh, gymnasium. We got a very good yoga center, very good gymnasium. So the students are making it a uh, uh, utilization of that. And that's how we could be able to uh, develop the student, uh, 360 degree development of the students. 
That's wonderful. Yes, That's good to hear about the all-round development of an individual into all spheres of life. So now that we got to hear about uh, a lot of good things about Saptagiri College of Engineering, can we can we quickly brief all these points as the greatest strengths of the institutes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's like um, uh, we give good educational input. Educational process is there. We got a process, good process. We got IQAC uh, where. Uh, uh, internal quality assurance cell and we got all different types of clubs like uh, uh, eco club or uh, health club and uh, we got a cultural club and we got um, so that the students uh, once they get in they could able to involve not only just listen involve in the clubs and see that uh, they could able to imbibe all the uh, good things, what it has to be learned from the society, because we need to learn a lot from the society. And uh, that's why I said the learning outcomes is very good, excellent in our uh, institution and absolute quality assessment of outgoing students. One of the greatest things, the students who, the alumni who just go out of the, our students, out of our uh, institution, they give a good quality input so that we will going to adopt that and we bring industry people to our institution and we take a lot of uh, uh, feedback from them so that uh, we could be able to rationalize and revise our educational quality. Yes, sir. That's great. That's really great. So now that we spoke about all the strengths, uh, let's move on to the challenges. What are some of the biggest challenges you see both for higher education and in general for uh, Saptagiri College of Engineering specifically? Yes, sir. Sir, the thing is, uh, there's IITs and RECs uh, in India. Uh, the cream students are moving in and uh, uh, a lot of the placements is the main thing. The coal branches placement in India has the biggest hit, especially for the private institutions. 80% of engineering college students are unemployable, as I read in the paper. As I read in the uh, paper, 80% uh, of engineering college students are unemployable. But to make them employable, it is the biggest challenge. So, so that lot of uh, the beyond curriculum, beyond syllabus, so we need to uh, make them uh, competitive. Competitive in uh, education as well as extracurricular activities so that they can when they pass out of the institution they can uh, become an entrepreneur or they can be employed in a good industry that that's is the true. biggest challenge that is so true indeed sir so true unemployment is indeed the biggest challenge i feel so moving on to the next question what are some plans that you're currently or will be designing for international affairs or students so this, uh, especially we are affiliated uh, institution for Vishweshwara Technological University. Uh, currently, uh, this we have not thought of because international affairs, we in future, in future, we will think over and see that how best we can uh, accommodate or design. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So uh, the final question and the golden question, any suggestions you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students of the country? Yes, sir. Uh, now, the students of uh, different uh, 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 knowledge, like they, they have scored different scores in CET or uh, uh, Comet K or uh, IIT JE, etc. The thing is, they will have in their mind, they need to go for a top branches like computer science or information science or artificial intelligence, etc. But Few of the uh, few of the students they they get mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or um, uh, biotechnology or civil engineering electrical etc. So what I would like to give for the parents and the students are they need not have to worry once they they are if they get what the branches they are interested it's okay otherwise any branch is not a problem the only thing is they need to upgrade the skills during the study, during their study in four years. Like they need to go for certification courses. They need to participate in competitions. They need to do a lot of projects and they need to present papers and uh, publications. 
and if possible they could do patents and uh, internship see in four years uh, they can do four to five internships in all the best companies so with that they can gain a lot of knowledge and they get the resume will be updated so with this uh, with the best resume and the best knowledge they can get a good job or they can become an entrepreneur uh, with uh, without any worries because once what is the extra you did the industry people ask what is the extra you did it they can say that these are the things they have done it and of course they are the ones they will be recruited or they can become entrepreneur because they do a lot of projects internship they'll be knowing in and out of the industry because during the study time uh, they will see the industry what's happening so they can also become an entrepreneur in this regard any branch is fine as our uh, uh, vice chancellor uh, dr karisidappa uh, visveshwara technological university honorable vice chancellor said any branch is not a problem only thing they need to upgrade the skills with this i would like um, very much thankful to you sir for asking this wonderful question hope i have satisfied yes well yes indeed sir uh, well uh, exposure to industry standards is indeed adds to the skill sets of an individual where uh, we well uh, it was truly an honor to have you on board sir i'm glad we had this session thank you so much for doing this and thank, thank you, you very so much, much again thank for you. doing this for us yes sir yes sir. thank you sir